Welcome back! Great to see you again! Last week, we looked at how to implement the DFS and BFS using queuing structure. This week, to implement the Dextra algorithm, we're going to need a queuing structure that's a bit more elaborate, one that's going to take the weights in the graph into account. Let's take a look at another queuing structure to implement a Dijkstra algorithm. Say hello to the mean heap. A mean heap is a data structure in which the elements are stored as a couple key value. Value is a quantity that has to be part of a totally ordered set, for example, the set of integers or real numbers. With a mean heap, two elementary operations can be performed. The first one is Add or replace. The add or replace operation is used to add a key value couple to the mean heap. If the key already exists and its associated value is larger than the one we want to add, then the value is updated with the new value. If the value is smaller, then the operation is ignored. The second elementary operation of the mean heap is remove, which will return the key value pair corresponding to the minimum value in the mean heap. Let's illustrate the use of a min heap with an example. We initialize an empty min heap. Let's add three key value couples, a50, b22, and c10. Now let's remove a value from this min heap. This operation will return c10, and the status of the min heap will be a50, b22. Let's now add or replace in the min heap with the couple b45. Because 45 is greater than 22, nothing happens. Now, let's add or replace with the couple A35. 35 is less than 50, and so the entry corresponding to A will be updated, resulting in the following mean heap. Finally, let's remove an element from the mean heap. This will return B22 and update the mean heap as follows. Got it? Now, let's see how we can use a mean heap to implement the Dextra algorithm. The goal of the Dextra algorithm is to find shortest paths between the starting position and all other vertices in a weighted graph. To implement this algorithm using a mean heap, all we have to do is to add vertices as keys and distances to the starting position as associated values. We can simply initialize an empty mean heap and add the starting vertex with a value of 0. Next, we'll perform a loop while the mean heap is not empty. We remove a key value couple from the mean heap, which will return a vertex and its distance. Next, we examine each neighbor of the vertex that we've just removed from the mean heap. Distances are updated by adding the stored distance and the edge weight corresponding to this neighbor. Then, we add or replace the entry corresponding to this neighbor in the mean heap, which will automatically update the distance to the minimum one, if needed. This process continues until the mean heap is empty, corresponding to the fact that all vertices have been visited. So that's it for today, see you for the next video!